they're going. And we are underway. Game one on Battlefield. How come King River lets me go to Battlefield? What the hell? Anyway. What? So this only happened because Strider beat Dan M, if I'm right? No, Strider did not beat Dan M. Oh, then I guess what I saw was friendlies. Yeah, Dan M is on the other side of the bracket. He has to play second. Alright. Then Strider must have beaten Cliff. Oh, uh, yes. Alright. That's what I was. Now, this, is, this is a tough one, because despite how fast Roy is, he's just so outclassed by, every, by Sonic's entire neutral game, for the most part. Correct. <laughs> He's got a sword, but he can't sp outspace Sonic. He can't outrun Sonic. He can outdrift Sonic, but... That's uh, clean. Yeah, unfortunately there for Strider, wasn't able to get the up air landing hit on King. He should have waited for the spring to dissipate there, because he lost all his invincibility. Yeah. A little bit of a late grab there, but we'll take it. Unfortunately though, one of Roy's biggest issues is actually getting a kill. So unless Strider can find a way to convert that into a kill, this is going to be a very uphill battle considering Sonic has the lead. Or unless, unless uh, King DI's terribly. Yeah, like we just saw in that um, Blazer. Maybe it'll happen again. Alright, Strider going for a read, but King not giving him anything to work with. And King looking for one of his own. No, no, no. Okay. King not even giving that a second thought. Oh no, that should be. Oh, the wrong smash. I'm not. Actually, I'm actually not sure if All Smash would have caught it, but just like that, we're seeing Strider really struggle. But <laughs> the most do it of do it, <laughs> King slowly <laughs> him out. <laughs> King a rare, a rare smile from King on the stream station, and cer certainly one that. It's that always good when you can laugh at your own mistakes. Certainly, how often do you see Roy dare someone? <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Mm, the King actually not able to punish that roll. And now Strider has the stage, but you're Sonic. Yeah, for the most part, his foam sword slash wet noodle doesn't really do much, but if he ever gets close to him, could see something. Yeah, when Strider's oh, able to gets. really lay on the pressure close to King is where we're seeing the most mileage out of Roy. Other than that, King's just been running, literally running like circles on this whiff punish game on Strider. King just needs to chill. He's got this, as long as he plays safe. Yeah, because Strider's just kind of Ooh. coaxing you. Oh, a little bit harder of a read there. And another one, but that's actually going to be pretty good damage for Strider coming into this. Oh, and I'm not quite sure about that. Oh, but another? Oh. All right, but now we're back to the King show. Now, can he get this one read? Oh no, it doesn't even matter because Spring! Please leave the stations on the right open for tournament matches. Catching the start of, of the Blazer. All setups on the side can be used for This isn't Marth, we don't have that instant reward. Yeah, so I'm assuming King took game one. Yeah. Turns out that. Blazer versus Spring is disadvantaged Blazer, <laughs> as it turns out. Oh, and King actually decided to switch for Sheik, possibly due to Lilac, or just because those slash thinks he could get away with this. But then again, it's been kind of forever since I've seen King really use Sheik. Uh, I see King has forgotten that Strider likes to pick this stage. Pretty sure he would have uh, took it away otherwise. Knowing King, he probably just banned the stage that would get him killed the easiest. Oh no. I just love how Strider goes for F smashes like any percent. That's definitely one of the more 
core element of his gameplay that makes him so interesting as a read-based player. The fact that he will not hesitate to throw out that F-Smash. This is a very interesting pick here to go Sheik on this stage. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if it was stage dependent or if it's just like he wanted to try Sheik regardless of the pick. If he doesn't have his kill setups unlocked, uh, Roy is going to live for a while. Or if he can get a good stage spike. Yeah, and, Ki and Sheik is easily in death percent to Roy right now. Oh yeah, definitely. For the longest time, Shrier has had that jump right, but he just hasn't been able to... Wow, he actually didn't even get close to the ground. That was uh -oh. nice. Very smooth. And King, I see, trying to go for that. If Strider air dodges, he'll get the fair off. But Strider, coming from his melee background, it does not air dodge. Jump. Oh, but... No. Nope. Not quite enough. Nope, the little extra packs of weight that Roy's packing. Going for the spike again. Oh! oh I don't like that. I think he should have waited to see where he drifted first. Oh, and that time just ran off a little too ahead. Because I think what you can do is you can actually see where he's going and then run past him and up smash. The sour spot would have killed regardless. Yeah. And King using the defensive kneel. Oh my god. I can't believe he got away with that. Oh, that's it. Oh. Yeah, grounded needles. Not the safest against an airborne opponent by yeah, far. Wouldn't have accomplished that much oh. even in that position. Did you see those sheep nerfs? It's so funny. Uh, Roy is such a unusual character in the sense that he doesn't really blade dance that much. He he wants to jab you more. Yeah, he's more of a jab near one kind of character, for sure. No wonder he's bad. <laughs> yeah, he definitely. If he had Marth's jab, he definitely likes to play more from the air than on the ground. But in a meta full of aerial opponents, not exactly the best situation. I wonder if that was a mistake. He does it, me. King with center stage. Trying to push right. Oh, that that did not look safe. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that was safe either. I think Strider very well could have maybe right up and grabbed him at the very least. Oh my! Ouch. I can't believe that actually combos. Roy's just so fast. Yeah, when he gets the spot of the sword that he likes, good jump over to get back back to middle. And once again, we're seeing King at the deficit, but... Oh, no, 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 no. But assuming Strider cannot close out this stock, we might see King make that return. No, I'm pretty sure he'll go back to, like, FD or Town, depending on what Strider wins. Probably yeah. in Town. If we can be safe to say that Strider wins this! I think I think he caught him trying to grab. Yeah, that was definitely a That grab. was definitely a grab scenario that I would have looked for, too. Yeah. I mean, it's not Marth, so it's like... Hitting the sour spot of Roy's blade, there's literally, it's literally like a little um, misdirection there. Because you just have to assume that that was unsafe of Strider, but it turns out that's exactly what he wanted, exactly what he needed. Oh, and Dark M calls it. We're seeing the FD pick and the return to Sonic. Well, this man could go as fast as he wants. It's possible that he might have had town open as well and just didn't take it. Oh, but Strider is actually running off with a little bit of steam from that previous game. Certainly much different compared to the first game that he fought King on in Battlefield. King cannot get impatient. Strider will blow you up if you start uh, playing unsafe. But it looks like King has him right where he wants him, doing Sonic things to him. Racking up 50%, still going. Yeah, the fact that in a couple of like seconds, Strider has already lost the lead to King is kind of a crazy because of Sonic's damage output. Yep, Strider not budging, and wow, like poor throw of dash attack. No way. Okay. This time King's DIing it right, otherwise he might have just lost his life down to those players. But here's the tough part for, for Roy in this matchup. What does he do? Oh, he actually got such a low scoop, but even the sour spot, that's gotta feel bad. Even a sour spot kills at that time? Marvelous spacing, but all for naught when King decides to shield. Mm -hmm. And give me that 37%. Song's got combo throws. Good ones at that. 
Yep. Doot, doot, doot. <laughs> Super toot, toot, toot. King's like, oh yeah, look at all this space. Yeah, but now that King has gotten the lead back, you're just seeing so much more, not exactly composure, but I just, I feel like... Comfort. Yes. Sure. Definitely he's comfort. He's certainly mixing up his game more than he was previously. Free damage. Yep, he's been doing that all yeah. in front. Oh, I, I actually thought King had him there, but he or, he, he force smashed a little late. I could tell by his movement he had the right idea. And then Jab no longer able to get Convergence for Roy. <laughs> Poor Roy. Oi! Okay. Chance for Strider. First time I've ever seen Fire beat anything remotely close to a blue object. Wow. Strider gave up all his pressure right there. Let him land. Just didn't want to deal with it. Didn't, probably didn't want to deal with Sonic's like landing mix-ups. AKA Air Dodger Aerial. We're definitely not seeing Strider lose entire faith in this. He can... Oh, no. Oh, so very questionable jump back there. Yeah, especially with the way that you saw, like, the pullback of um, Drift. Very easily could have been easy pickings for King. I wonder if we're going to see the back air or the forward smash. Probably the back air since Strider's jumping a lot. I'm... Oh, no, King's trying to break that. So I definitely am feeling the back air more than the forward smash. Here it comes. No. Oi! That's big oh, no. damage. If Strider can get maybe like one more good hit, forward smash is looking awfully good on this table. Max Rage Roy. Strider's mm, scheming. Yeah, he's looking for his one good opportunity on this hog. Oh, King had the read again. They did not cooperate. And actually, he had the right spacing there on to get a potential Tip grab. Yeah. Him. You gotta know that that's coming. You got. You gotta know that that's coming. Yep. That, that that was that was definitely something that he needed to watch out for. Call it spatial awareness, or yeah, you have to be aware of every time that you land. You have to look at where Sonic is, because he's gonna try to run under you. You just have to know those danger zones. Indeed, such as the ledge. Second and ten, feature station, please.